welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. Hey you guys, how the heck is everybody on this Sunday morning? Harry and I got up early and we made ourselves a, a nice cup of coffee and we ended up watching a cute movie called Anola Holmes. It was on, is it on Netflix or Prime? Netflix, yeah. Netflix, it was really cute. It's about uh, Sherlock Holmes's little sister. Anyway, it's cute. I guess there are books um, about it, but it was cute. It was nice. We really enjoyed ourselves. We had a fire. Um, yesterday, you guys, I switched days. I switched the OMAD bowl of soup day to today, and I took the two meals, no snacks, use your bone broth and collagen, and we had that yesterday. And that's the nice thing about this. You guys can switch the days out to suit your individual needs. So today is a one meal big bowl of soup day. I made my chicken thighs last night when we got home, didn't I, Harry? Cooked mm -hmm. them, let them cool, put them in the refrigerator, and that's what I'm going to make kind of a spicy uh, chicken tortilla soup today. And we'll share that. But we're going to be going to get some CoQ10 at Costco today, you guys. If you didn't see uh, Chewing the Fat with Wendy and Harry's uh, video yesterday, go see it because we talk a little bit about why you need to have CoQ10 in your life, especially if you have cardiac issues or you're on statins. Anyway, you guys, yesterday we ate out again. I know. Sorry, but we did. We went to barbecues and we had chicken wings. Yes, we did. They have the best naked chicken wings. And we had the ranch sauce dip and the buffalo sauce. And I have been craving Mexican food. I have been. So we went to one of our favorite Mexican restaurants and I deconstructed a chicken tostada and had them serve it in a bowl. I told them no, no tortillas, no beans, no rice. I told them what to put on it. You know, the, the um, salsa, sour cream, guacamole, cheese. They're really nice. They did everything that we asked them to do, and it was extremely filling. It really was. It was really good, too. I told them to bring the spicy uh, salsa, too. Um, we had two scoops of collagen, a four tablespoons of Khalifa, a uh, coconut almond half, and I don't have the calculations because I don't know the sizes. And I could potentially get that, but... I would just rather say this is what I had to eat. It was perfectly keto and go from there. You know, if I followed the menu and got exactly what it said on the menu for what it is, because they have the nutritional value, but for the tostada, taking off the beans, you know, having just the chicken, taking off the tortilla, it totally, I'd have to do all those calculations and it still probably wouldn't be correct. Anyway, nonetheless, we got a lot accomplished yesterday. We were out and about and we weighed ourselves today and i stayed the same i stayed at 179 harry went up two tenths of a pound now every time harry eats lettuce oh, yeah. or a lot of vegetables he tends to gain water I bloat. Yeah. now already he and i this morning yes have the, been washing i the mean, big release we have been going to the bathroom like crazy if you guys know what i mean but last night when we came home we started drinking tea and uh, we had herbal tea and green tea, didn't we, Harry? Mm -hmm. So we drank a lot of teas last night to kind of push the added salt, especially Mexican food. They tend to use a lot more salt. We had cheese, all the good things. So, you guys, we are going to go to Costco. We're going to get the CoQ10 from there. I know CoQ10 is expensive, but it's worth it, especially after the cardiologist sat down and explained it to us. And then I called my sister and she explained it some more. So... We are going to go out and about. We're going to go there. And then when I come home, you guys, I'm going to make our big bowl of spicy. I'm calling it tortilla because we went to Vitamin World or Vita, Vitamin Shop. Excuse me. There's They have a Vitamin World. We went to Vitamin Shop to get pressed tortillas for the top because I want it to be chicken tortilla soup. So anyway, you guys. We are headed out the door. Hope everybody's having a great day. You guys, come back in the next segment. If I can film, I will when we get to Costco. Huh? Oh. CoQ10, 300 milligrams, you guys. 
100 soft gels is on sale at Costco for $15.49. I think I'm getting four bottles of it. Or should I just get three? Well, get, get four if you can. It says limit 15. I know. So, for that price, oh my gosh. Sorry. For that price, I'm, I'm going for it, Harry. Because that's... Yeah. I can get four for the price of one at Walgreens. Yeah. So, so Premier Protein, a lot of people use this. Uh, it's on sale for $19.99. It's normally $26.99 a carton. And it looks like they've got vanilla, chocolate, coffee latte, caramel, all the good flavors. Oh, they're having a lot of sales today, Harry. Yeah. Hey guys, they have Zip Fizz on sale. It's uh, $6 off. It's $21.99 case. Wow. Look at all the flavors they have. Pina colada, black cherry, peach mango, combo pack. A lot of people use Zip Fizz for their electrolytes. That's a great price. So this 505 green chili is really good if you use it. But once you open it, you got to use it. So I'm getting the Hatch Chili which is about the same price. This is 40 ounces for $5.49. These are six cans, seven, 42 ounces. So I'm getting these because I use one whole can when I cook, you know, at a time, like in my chicken soup today. How much is that? $4.99. Oh, okay. Nothing is complete without my chicken. <laughs> you know what I want? I oh. want some Amy Lou uh, chicken sausage. Oh, that'd be good. They were so good. Yeah. Let's do that. I don't know. I don't know where they're at, though. Well, let's start on this side. Let's see. What's the difference between these? Watch my purse. Mm. One carb, one length. And the Adele's. What's that one? Adele's. Oh, four cars. Yeah, no way. Because it has apples in it. It's one. We like these and they're really good. Yeah, you they get are. 12 links. One link is one carb. And they're really oh, good. good. Let's see if we can find those other ones that they had. That were chicken as well. Hey everybody, we're back from ba um, not Bashes, Costco. And you guys, they had the Kirkland CoQ10 300 uh, milligrams, uh, 100 soft gels for $15.49. Four dollars off. There, it's usually twenty dollars. I was amazed, so I got two. Got some Kerrygold butter. Got some um, Hatch chilies, which we love. These are the diced green chilies. We've got some more Sabatino organic um, basil cracked black pepper uh, smoked really like chicken those. sausage. These have such good flavor. Got myself another chicken. We'll have some chicken this week, and then we'll have a carcass for bone broth. Got two of the Kirkland organic eggs. And you guys, it is 2 p.m. and we haven't eaten, so I think I'm gonna put this stuff away. And then I'm gonna come back and make our soup for our one big bowl of soup today because I flipped days. Today's Sunday, but I flipped it with um, Saturday. So you guys can do that on the Jumpstart Your uh, Weight Loss challenge that we have and if you guys are new and you want to jump on board just go in the description below go to our website click on the url link it'll take you to our web page you'll see the challenge and right below it is a button you can hit and you can print out your own copy hey you guys if you guys are new here too we have a great 
Facebook group. It is Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans. It's free to you. We have a great group of people and we would like to invite you to join. You can bounce questions and ideas off of one another on there and you can learn a lot from everybody yeah, too. Recipes too. Recipes too. So anyway you guys I gotta put this away and then I'm gonna get cooking. Sally's ready for chicken soup. She's been helping chop the I am making out of my head. This is my recipe as we go, you guys. I have got uh, 12 ounces, and Harry uh, cut up the chicken. And Look how it well is that thighs. is cut up because it's cut It up. is. You did such a good job with you. scissors. Yeah. Scissors. Culinary scissors. Now, this is our bone broth. This is the chicken bone broth, and I'm going to take the whole container and put it right into the pan. Ooh, nice and gelatinous. Because I would rather use bone broth. What kind is that? Then water. The this is the chicken bone broth. Look, that's just as jiggly as the other stuff. Yes, it is. It's our beef. Yeah. So there's that. I think I'm going to use a little bit more. Wait a minute. I shake it to get break the fat off the top loose. I just want a little bit more. That's good. There you go. So, probably 16 ounces of bone broth. Let me see what size jar this is. Okay, so it's, this jar is a 24 fluid ounces. So, I'd say about 32, 24, somewhere around in there. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm putting that in, and I want to get it hot. Because I'm putting... Keto Chow spicy taco base into it to make my soup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this, while this is uh, heating, I have four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. I have a can of green diced chilies. You can get hatch chilies, but I got this at Costco. I opened them. Harry opened them. Harry shredded the cheese. He cut the, he cut, he's a great sous chef. I'm gonna put probably half of a teaspoon of the California uh, garlic, Kirkland. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of the onion. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of the organic no salt seasoning. I'm gonna put probably half a table, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Love it. And then I'm gonna put half to a whole teaspoon of the chili powder and i like the chipotle chili you guys and then i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of jalapeno ground jalapeno because we like our spicy yep so let's get this party started you guys let's get this going here it's so good so delicious so you're getting your fat from the bone broth and the philly cream cheese no more fat is necessary you're going to have a dollop of sour cream on top with some cheese. And this is 12 ounces sour cream. We've got um, sharp Tillamook cheddar. And see, I pulled a piece out of the chunks that I did the other day, you guys, in the freezer. It does crumble a little bit, but it's no big deal. It's no big deal, so you can freeze your cheese. So just remember that, you guys. If you buy it in bulk or the big block and there's just two of you, go ahead and chop it into like two to four ounce chunks and freeze it like we did, huh, Harry? Yep. Because it really works nice. Now, this is getting pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to take the um, keto chow and just add that. I'm going to stir that in, whip it in. that's breaking down and melding I'm going to take my uh, cream cheese get that in there careful it splashes that's why I use your camera your phone huh. Ooh, that's really nice and spicy. spicy I may not you know what I may not need a lot of the spice that's nice. Wow I don't want it too hot no the, um, like diced uh, tomatoes, you can do mushrooms, 
You could do what else do I got in here? Should I put some Mexican style? Sure. You no, know, we you know what? I want to make it more um, less vegetables today. Less vegetables. But you could add the dice brotel in there. So I'm going to put the chilies because we love the chilies. Love the chilies. Thank you. So. The trick is to, for me, my trick is taste as you go because I'm making it up in my head. Now I want to add my chicken. Chicken going in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's nice. I want to put a little bit of garlic, half a teaspoon, just a little bit. I'm going to uh, do a half a teaspoon of onion. You can use whole, you can chop onions and put in, but I don't have any onions and I just want to do it really quick because we're pretty hungry. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of the Kirkland um, no salt seasoning in there. Just half of a teaspoon. Just give it a little Probably bit of The problem with when we got to go out and do all these errands, I always want to stop someplace and eat. Yeah, that's, I didn't want to do that because we've done that twice. Now. Yeah, she didn't think that that was a very good idea. Because I did bring it up. Yes, you did. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of smokiness into this. I love smoked paprika. It's not going to take a lot because I'm telling you that keto chow base really had a lot of spice to it. It makes you Before, sneeze, too. It does. My nose is starting to drip. Uh -huh. Now, look how this is thickening up. That's another thing that keto chow base does, which is really nice, is it thickens up. So, when I grew up, you guys, my mom always had cream of mushroom, Campbell's cream of mushroom, oh, yeah. Campbell's cream of celery soup. Mm. She had all of those because that's how we would make our base with, right? And a box of Bisquick. Okay, I am going to put a few dashes of the jalapeno. In there, just a little teeny bit of chili, just a little bit, about a quarter of a teaspoon of the chipotle because it gives it an additional smokiness to it. And I think that's, I mean, I was all prepared to just make it, you know, my way. And wow, just put a little bit of salt. So you get that nice salt. We like pepper. Mm-hmm. I like to eat. Well, you're going to be able to sooner than later, which is exciting. Okay. Now, let me get two bowls. Wow, how nice is that? Yeah, it's really good. Too. It does. Oh, I got to sneeze. Hurry up. From well, all the, from all the stuff you got... Flying around the room right now. I need a dog. I need a... All the spicy junk. It is. If it's a snake, it would have bit me. Look at this, you guys. How good is that? Look at that. Mm. Now you can add a little bit of uh, gar gum or xanthan gum, but I kind of like it like this. This just looks delicious. That one mine? Whatever one you want, babe. Whatever one you want. Don't be afraid. Put some stuff in there. Marty, you have to save some stuff for the next bowl full. Goodness sakes, put some stuff in it. That's exactly what I plan on doing. I'm going to use some cheese. Not too much. Well, give me half. Oh, my gosh. Make up your mind. Probably right? in trouble, right? Oh, I love cheese, but cheese don't love me. Boy, you got that right.
Ain't that right, boys? That's for sure. The problem is, you like to keep the heat out. Out. Oh, right. Everybody Everything. hates you. Everything. Just stay away from us, because we don't like you. Okay, I'm doing that. And here's my trick to make it tortilla our style. Oh, so man. I put some chips on top. What kind of chips are those? Those are Quest chips. And then, make a spoon. Protein chips. All oh, right, they're my tortilla chips. I like these. Those are your tortilla chips. You're right. Dollop of sour cream for the top. And then, because we like hot sauce, we're going to have a little bit of La Victoria just right on top of the sour cream. Yeah, not too much. And just put it right just on. Just an accent. Because I think it's going to be hot. Because it be, is. It's going to be good. It's good if it's mine. And there you have it, you guys. Easy peasy. Look at this. Chicken tortilla soup. I can't, Harry. My hands hurt, baby. Okay. I know you want to see it. It looks delicious. Smells fabulous. You guys got to eat now. That's Woo! me. Nice. Let me take this off the stove. Let me try it. Let me get a little taste. A little bit of that. A little bit of chip. <clears throat> yeah? Oh, yeah. Is it hot? <clears throat> Is it going to be too hot, do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I'm full. You guys, that soup was marvelous. I wouldn't put any of the chili powder or the jalapeno. Oh, I don't know. I liked it. Until you taste it. Harry and I love spice, spice, spice. But you know what? That that ta spicy taco uh, base is pretty spicy. That was so filling, so delicious, you guys. If you guys and like soups, oh man, that was, was a good easy one. To oh, make. that was super easy. That was really good. I mean. Yeah. Really good, yeah. So you guys, we have one meal a day today. We shared with you our little trip to Costco. I showed you some of the things that were on sale that were keto that some people like to buy. Um, I It was so crowded with people though. I couldn't go wow, it was amazing. aisle to aisle. Well, our Costco closed and I think all those people have gone to this Costco now. Mm -hmm. So they've got double the amount of people. Um, but I, I shared with some of those things, got a little clip of us going to Costco, you guys. Hey, tomorrow, you guys, is the 11th. It's Monday. It's a 20-hour OMAD day. You guys, it's a carnivore day, so make sure you guys have meat because we're going to be eating our meat. Um, I think we're going to have uh, maybe this chicken. I got to always get a chicken at Costco right. because I pull all the meat apart. And use the cost. I use all the drippings. Okay. See all this juice in here, you guys? Look at the juicy juice. All that juice, any of the skin, all that stuff goes into a bag, into the freezer, because that's what we use in our chicken bone broth. So um, when this gets cool enough, I'm going to tear this apart, take that carcass, kind of smash it up a little bit. <clears throat> and throw it in the freezer and start my bag of chicken bones for my next batch of chicken bone broth because I used one and a half jars today just for my soup. But man, that was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. Oh God, delicious. it was so good. We are gonna have a cup of sweet coffee with our collagen because that's what we're doing. And then we're just gonna settle in and Harry's gonna get this uh, we're video start doing it, yeah. edited. So <clears throat> everybody, we're gonna go ahead and close this out. We're gonna say goodbye for the day. And you guys, don't forget, tomorrow's a nomad and it's a carnivore day, so eat your meat. Hey everybody, if you like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. So you're going to try to put that back in the refrigerator now? No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's cool enough that I can pull it apart. Oh, you're going to pull it apart? Yeah, I'm okay. going to pull it apart.
Chicken bondage. I know, chicken bondage. Give me the lake. I'm gonna go check out my jewelry though.